Hello, I'm Donald McIntyre of NewFination.com. This is New Fination Live, and we have Sarah Kaufman, Marketing Manager of Manila.com with us. How are you, Sarah? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. How is everything? Good, good. Um, Sarah, you work for Manila.com, and uh, which is one of the players that I'm that I'm analyzing in the in the new finance arena. And um, I wanted to know about your background. Sure. So, uh, like you said, I'm the marketing manager at Manila.com. I run all of the content here, which means I primarily work on our blog. Um, the blog is located at manila.com slash blog and we use it to write about organization, productivity, money, finance, um, and lifestyle categories, everything from food to fashion to travel to DIY, kind of all through the organization and budget friendly angles. Um, and we've got about 75 plus contributors to the Manila blog that I manage um, on a weekly or monthly basis. Um, and then I manage all of our other content relationships and partnerships as well. And um, I saw that Manila.com belongs to a bigger corporation called, called Hearth. Can you Correct. tell me a little bit about Hearth Corporation? Sure. So Hearst Corporation is one of the biggest um, diversified media companies in the world. Um, it owns a lot of popular magazines that you've probably heard of, Esquire, Good Housekeeping, Cosmopolitan, Country Living, House Beautiful, Marie Claire, Elle. All of those um, are under the, the parent corporation of Hearst Corporation. And then it also owns, um, you know, there's other branches, Hearst Entertainment Syndication, Hearst Newspapers, Hearst Television, and so on and so forth. So it's a giant media conglomerate that, um, that owns Manila. And uh, Manila was started and uh, is owned by the Hearst Corporation. It is very interesting that a media company uh, started and, and runs a, 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 a division or, or a company like a service like Manila.com um, because it, for me it showed some things about the internet and, and that is sometimes how it reconstructs businesses in different ways because the way I see it Manila is something like a financial services. I don't know how you view it. That's true. I mean Hearst is Hearst is all about, you know, growing and creating new services as well. Um, and I think that Manila is really in a space of its own. It's in a new space. It's the leader in the space. So um, I think that's probably why Hearst uh, started a company like it. And Man Manila, Manila seems to be, uh, or seems to borrow a part of the two industries because in one sense it handles uh, statements and bank information for clients from the financial industry, but at the same time it helps publishers uh, uh, send the statements to clients. Correct. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a consumer friendly and business friendly business. Can you tell me a little bit in detail what is Manila then? Sure. So Manila is a service free for consumers um, and it lets them really take control of everything in their lives. Um, a primary function is that it lets them manage all of their bills and accounts in one place online or on our mobile apps. We've got mobile apps for the iPhone and Android. And basically with Manila using one password, uh, one username and password, you can manage your financial accounts, your household accounts and utility bills, your daily deals, like your Groupons and Living Social Vouchers, um, your open table reservations, your magazine and newspaper subscriptions, your Netflix subscriptions, and your travel rewards programs. So it's kind of one place for you to manage everything in your life. Um, I saw in Manila that it has three main areas. Um, now I'm, I'm logged out, but uh, one part is where you see your bills. Um, the other one is where you store your bills and statements. And uh, the third one now I don't remember because I have to log in again. Reminders. So Reminders. So do you want, I can talk a little bit about, you know, those features. Um, yeah. The, the service really d does uh, a variety of things for consumers and you know one of them is just giving them a place to view all of their accounts and one kind of clean and secure dashboard for them to view everything. 
in their life in one place. So you can see all of your balances. You can see what Netflix movie you have coming next. You can see what Groupons you just purchased. You can see your credit card balance next to your checking account balance and so on and so forth. Um, and so then what, what Manila also does is it really helps consumers save money because it is automatically reminding them via text or email when their bills are due. So that's the reminders page that you were referring to. Um, Manila sends reminders one, three, or seven days before your bills are due and also if your bills are overdue. Um, and But it's, it doesn't even stop there. Um, you know, so so that helps you not pay, you never pay late fees, so you're saving money. Um, but Manila also reminds you when it's time to use your Groupons um, and your other daily deals, uh, when it's time to use your travel points and miles before they're going to expire, and when it's time to renew your magazine and newspaper subscriptions, when those are about to expire. That oh, and then the third that. one is... The third one is document storage, right? Uh -huh. So, um, so Manila seamlessly and automatically retrieves your account documents, your bills and statements, and files them for you. So, when you want to go see your latest American Express bill, you can do that. Your latest Citibank statement, you can go right in there. You can view it. You can download it. Uh, you can print it or send it via email if you want to, whenever you want. Um. I saw that uh, that the organization of Manila is in four big quadrants. One one is household, the other one is finance, um, and the other two I don't remember because I, I don't see the website now. But um, when I, when I connect one, for example, I connected my Chase account, and uh, what you say about the service is that I receive the, the statements and I receive alerts. Where where from where does it retrieve that information from the provider itself? Correct. Correct. So when you sign up for Manila and you link your Chase account, you're basically taking your username and password and you're inputting it into Manila system. So that's where we're getting all of the data directly from your provider, from your online Chase account. Okay. One of the very interesting um, features or characteristics of Manila is, is, is the um, presentation of statements and bills. and um, when uh, does that does that mean if I if I for example I, if I put my AT and T phone um, does that mean that I don't have to connect with AT and T and tell them to send it to Manila? It, it's done automatically. Um, I'm not sure that I'm following the question. So you're saying, do you need to connect with AT and T to tell them to send it through Manila? No, Manila will automatically pull it. You don't have to do any of the work. Just by just. Just by going to Manila and logging in and um, Manila does all the work. Okay, so and does that mean that I'm going to still um, be uh, sent or receive the AT&T statement, or AT&T like already knows that I'm on Manila? So it depends. For our partner accounts, some of our major partners are companies like AT&T, Citibank, Comcast, Directv. When you link those accounts to Manila, those accounts will automatically be made paperless. And there is, you know, a little paperless icon that tells you before you link that account, this account will be made paperless. And then what that means is you will not get uh, paper bills and statements from that provider, so from AT&T, for example. Um, but instead, you will get them all through Manila. And you'll be able to view them and download them and, and get them in paper form if you want to by printing them whenever you want, 24-7. So as I go adding accounts in finance, for example, I added my cable account and then I go I can add my, my cell phone bill and AT and T and then cable Comcast another as I go adding I'm gonna receive less paper at home. Correct. However, for our non partner accounts, there are more than thirty five hundred businesses available on Manila. Um, for our non paper for our non partner accounts, um, your accounts are not made paperless. And um, non partner me are, are those that, that I can add in the custom button? Um, no, not all of uh, the providers. So we have thirty five hundred providers available to you, and those are mainly um, all of the most popular providers 
every bank, um, you know, every financial institution, all of the major utility companies. So those are all available to you. The custom accounts feature is something that we did just launch. Um, and basically, it allows you to manage virtually anything on Manila, even accounts that Manila can't necessarily that they can't necessarily make available. So those include things like your rent um, or maybe your babysitter or your dog walker um, or your gym membership. So things that you know Manila may not be able to support but you can manage them right on your Manila account. So it's a more integrated service in that sense because not only the things that I get but I used to get by the mail it, uh, I can also control other things that I need to pay or are time sensitive. Correct. Of any kind of provider. Right. And, and within the 3,500 uh, providers you're connected with, some are partners and some are not partners? Is that what you meant before? Right, that's correct. Okay, so the ones that are partners, you're fully integrated technologically, so I, I, I receive the full service. You receive the full service for all of them, uh, really. I mean, you can manage any of them on Manila. Um, it's just that for our partner accounts, we just um, encourage you to go paperless with that account. Regarding other other features, um, it's very very uh, good that you actually work um, and you manage the blog because I, w I was very curious about other features like the blog. Sure. Um, I wanted to know about that, the, 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 the blog itself, and then I, I saw there's a, 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 a part called experts, and within experts there are different topics like organization and financial planning and things like that. Uh, how is that organized? Sure, so like I said, um, our blog is divided into a couple of different categories. Um, money, organization, productivity, and lifestyle, and then we also use it to uh, offer company announcements and news and feature updates and product updates and things of that nature. Um, and so, right, so we have 75, over 75 contributors to the Manila blog um, and a lot of really phenomenal industry experts writing for us. One of those is Linda Descano. She runs uh, Women & Co, which is a sector of Citibank, which is great. Um, and then we've got, you know, an organization expert, Monica Ritchie, who um, has her own, she's a certified uh, professional organizer based in Atlanta. Um, and we have other people just like that writing about personal finance and physical organization, digital organization, um, things like how to make going paperless a little bit less scary. Um, everything from that to um, personal finance tools and, and everything else. So it's really a great place for not just our customers but anybody to go and get really great advice about those topics. Well, at least I'm definitely going to use it. <laughs> Good. Um, um, so this is even more interesting because I see that, that you, uh, Hearst Corporation as a media company has a has a, a service like manila.com that helps households um, and individuals manage their statements um, and it looks like a financial service uh, but it covers other things so it's not it's not only about bills and bank statements uh, you you talk about the uh, or organization in general digital organization physical organization so um, I guess that in terms of managing your life in your home uh, as time goes by, Manila is going to integrate more services. Do you do you have any any features or any um, new services rolling up in the short term? Um, you know, nothing that we're making public right now. But the custom accounts was a really big launch for us, and and we really feel that the custom accounts feature truly makes Manila, you know, a service where you can manage virtually anything in your life. So that was exciting. That's great. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, uh, congratulations for the success of uh, Manila.com. Thank you. Uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks, Donald. Thank you, Sarah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.